YouTube, how are you guys doing? Thanks for again hitting this channel and welcome back. I know I've uploaded a video after a really long time and that's because I had my exams and other stuff going on and I apologize. But today is gonna be special day. Today we're trying to do something different. So I'll be doing a movie review today on the most controversial and most popular film these days in India, Padmavad. So I hope you like this review and basically the non-spoiler review and it's gonna revolve around these main factors so I'll be explaining all of them just in a sec so see you guys! I will be going into this review by classifying it into 5 main components that will be visuals, screenplay, uh, direction, music this, that, that entire thing is the first one uh, the second one would be acting of uh, each main uh, character in our film that is Ranveer Singh, Deepika Padukone and Shahid Kapoor the third one will be portrayal of each character if um, if I thought something from the history was missing or no. Fourth one would be a real uh, interesting one. It would be did this movie in my opinion really really had to go through these many controversies and issues that it had to face. So and the last one will be what are my views on this film and how much how much I liked it. So let's jump right in. So going into the visuals section, we I can say that the visuals are pretty amazing. They were so beautiful. Each scene was so serene with like F waterfalls, forests, kingdoms, palaces, Afghanistan, all that era. The 13th century era was literally lit up by this film by so much visual effects. It was beautiful. But I can say that it it wasn't the most beautiful because recently when I watched Bahubali 2, the conclusion, it I can say that comparatively Bahubali 2 had uh, a lot more visual graphics than it was but we can also say that this movie wasn't actually gonna revolve around the visual effects, uh, it was uh, obviously revolving around the story of Rani Padmini. So basically yeah but for a visuals I'd give it a rough 7 out of 10 and going next is screenplay direction wow oh my god each scene the transition of elements the camera moments was so pure and so ethnic that we could actually feel like being in the 13th century and uh, like every every scene in the movie uh, suppose it was the since it was a it was a movie that signified Rajput glory and honor. So each scene where Rajput used to come, where any Rajput used to come, the screen used to brighten up. The screen used to light up like yay Rajputs have come and the and the atmosphere used to be happy. Whereas when the when Khilji when Alauddin Khilji comes and when like all Afghans or Mughals used to come together, the scene automatically used to get dark and you know. Uh, with all that effect, that evil effect that you know makes all of the audience feel like oh my god this scene is terrifying so basically the, that, that part of direction is what I really liked because doing that and giving, portraying something, uh, describing a message via this it's really beautiful in a way with uh, how you do it with movies that is really good I would give screenplay and direction something about 8, 8 by 10 and last but not the least, songs. Songs were really good. Uh, to be honest, I just like the Goomer song uh, because other songs were just, um, I guess, other songs were just to intense up the film, uh, to elongate the film and its time. But then other songs are good. I'm not saying they were bad, but for me, in my opinion, I like Padmavati uh, Goomer's song more. Moving on with acting of each actor, like Shahid Kapoor, Ranveer Singh, Deepika Padukone killed it literally guys they killed it trust me this should be one of the reasons you should go and watch the movie right now because their acting has been so intense 
I can I can honestly say for Ranveer Singh I have never seen him in a role like this and he literally has killed it. His acting is so perfect that each each person in our in, in the audience is so like gets to hate him like at the end of the movie we just be we have we, we develop a sense of hatred for Ranveer Singh for the character he's playing because he's played it so well that he literally deserves an oscar for this actor and obviously to say that he he went to rehab also after shooting he he he, he needed psychiatric help uh, which can be noticed because this character Alauddin Khilji which he played it is really really villain in his in his character and going on with Shahid Kapoor oh my god i have never seen him in like in such a role before i mean that must have been a really good challenge for him and i can say with assurance like rajput he literally gave his best because his acting was really good he knew what to do and how rajput behaved and i guess that was the best part of the film his raja raval ratan singh acting was up to the mark now deepika padukone okay honestly i did i did not i did not like her i mean i do i did like her acting but then i just compared it with bajira mustani if we get to see if you seen bajira mustani the role which deepika was playing in bajira mustani the the character she was flaunting that and parani padmini here i i barely could see a difference like for anvir singh the way he was playing bajira was different and the way he's playing khilji also is different but uh, in bajira mustani deepika was playing something same similar as to what rani padmini what she is playing as rani padmini so basically with deepika i know she's done a fabulous acting too and i loved her in the movie but then i just didn't don't see so much of difference so all the deepika lovers i'm sorry continuing with portrayal of each character and what i thought was missing okay so i haven't read up on the history as much as i need to so this one will be short so um the portrayal of each character uh, as far as i can see uh, raja Ra- raval raja raval ratan singh was played uh, as he should be played i guess because that um, in in the uh, in the folklore padmavat he is playing a uh, uh, brave and brave warrior with a good soul who just um, loved uh, padmavati and, and and could do anything for her and with a uh, padmrani padmini also the way she behaved was exactly the same what i thought was missing was there were some elements that i think if they would have added in the movie it would have been a much uh, much greater experience for all of us and like there was uh, there was this mention of a talking parrot uh, that rani padmini had and it not being in the film was something audience can say was disappointing not for me but audience might say However, there's nothing much I can relate to here. Each character was played to its best. I can say that because the movie was really intense. So did it really had to face all these controversies? Did Padmavat had to go through all these issues, and was it worth it? Seriously, guys, honestly, I think it really was. I mean, uh, to be honest, I don't uh, mean to disrespect uh, any any Rajput member of our Indian community or any Karni Sena members. I am saying it with honest opinions and I hope you respect that. I am saying that uh this movie if you guys thought that was a dishonor or disrespect to our uh, to the Rajputs of the early age, it's actually not. Um it does signify honor and glory to Rajputs, to the Rajput kingdom and to the everything that's happened in the movie revolving around them. and there was no there was no, i guess i feel that the controversy was uh, was not was not required for such a film because what the actors were conti- what uh, the director and the actors were continuously saying was true we had to watch the film to judge if what rajput members were saying was true or no and as i have watched the film i really think that all these issues the burning of malls the burning of cars and all was not really worth this i mean it it shouldn't have happened this re- movie was really good and it should have it's it's like one of the best movies we can watch in 2018 and 
critics might say something bad but my opinion is my opinion and i like that so moving on to the next topic okay last of the entire movie review is what i love the most about the film okay so basically this film is one of the best movies i've seen by far because recently we aren't doing so good in bollywood uh not to this don't no don't mean any disrespect but it is a really good movie it's a must watch a, fa- a family watch too you know it's it's good for family and i can say um it's not mostly like a two time watch film but you can if you want to if you really like it family should go together to watch this film and it's like uh your time will have be your time can be invested in a good movie like this like i can say that with assurance the ending of the film okay this is a non spoiler so i won't say what it was but the ending of the film is really really intense guys it gives you chills spines all over your body 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 <laughs> it gives chills and spines all over your body your heart races fast and you are completely blank with the ending i mean come on okay i can i can agree that it is different for me and it is different for some audience as well but as for me i really like the ending and the music guys i cannot disagree to this fact the music was not good the music a background music to every scene in the movie was intense like literally intense like uh, i can share one experience uh, there was a scene in the palace and uh, the king and the queen were talking and that idea which the uh, the uh, cinematographer is used like to make it realistic when uh, the king and the queen were talking there were drums playing in the background bells ringing in the background which you know made it genuine which made it pure which made it feel as like oh yes we are living in the 13th century and the next thing i loved was the visual like the scenery the palace the entire kingdom how it was lit up and how occasionally on diwali on holi they showed it and how afghanistan the evilish place they have uh, portrayed to uh, to um, how how characters have been evolved everything was so good for now i can give this movie out of 10 uh, 8.5 and I I think you guys should really watch this movie and if you watch let me know in the comments down below that what you think of the movie and obviously opinions matter so my opinion is different yours might be different doesn't matter just tell me let me know how my movie review was because this is my first one and I hope you like it see you next time